going on guys? Your boy X and today we're doing that Fire Force Season 2 Episode 19 Live Reaction. Just like I said in my Jujutsu Kaiser video, sorry I didn't post it on Friday. Um, you know, went out with my coworkers to have a drink after this long ass, you know, month and a half of not having an off day or whatever. We were, you know, you know what it was. You know, <laughs> and then I got home, I was just knocked out. But yeah, here we are. Um, last we left off with Fire Force, we, <laughs> we had like a serious funny episode. Um, you know, we had like Iris at the beginning with her stuff with the church and everything. I guess beliefs. Basically, you know, beliefs and stuff at the beginning. Then you had Assault, which that shit was just comedy gold. Like, I hope we get more of Assault later on. Uh, <laughs> Like, the strongest guy can't be to mock any, but yeah, uh, today's episode, if I remember correctly, it's about Maki, um, and I, I did read a couple of y'all's comments when y'all were saying that, uh, that they have mentioned before that she had, like, a little army background, um, in season one, so I couldn't remember, but thank you, thank you for that, uh, but yeah, so it's really gonna be about her, so I'm very interested to see what this is gonna be about, but let's go ahead and get started, remember though guys, for more Fire Force live reaction slash reviews, make sure I hit the subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel, won't be disappointed, alright, about to begin this guys, in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's get it! Okay, <laughs> the Oz family, what the? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. <laughs> God damn, you that's all? <laughs> Don Roas. Is this, so is this a flashback, or is this like in current time? Because I know she's already been a Fire Force member, so that's why I said I know that beginning scene was a flashback. But what about now? Oh my god, she butt-ass nigga. Yeah, she has a very, like, toned body, like, she looks like she got abs, and look at her biceps! God damn! Maybe Abby should have had arms like that instead. <laughs> Some of y'all will get that, but <laughs> mm -mm. I would have been fine if she was like that body, you know. Huh? Takigi, Takigi. Come on, don't do this to me already. Look at this, and this she doesn't even look like she has the biceps now. It's like, <laughs> unless she was flexing in the shower. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, it's like everywhere, like fathers are always weak against their daughters, huh? Mm mm mm. -mm. I don't even care about you, but uh, your own uh. <laughs> The lieutenant. <laughs> okay, so this must be present now. 
<laughs> Look at the flex. Oh, shit. She looks like she can just do a Larry and just kill something. Good Cobra. <laughs> wow. Is it, is it bad manners to point somebody at the fork? I don't know about that. <laughs> a prince on a white horse. What the hell is this? A flower garden. <laughs> Yo, oh my god. It's my girl. <laughs> Mm -mm. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Everybody on this damn table! <laughs> Whole personality switched up. Maki Mama can get it. I'm just. <laughs> I'm saying. Hey, shit. Mm mm mm. I wouldn't be surprised if the maid just ah, ah! <laughs> It's like everybody that whole day up this is reminding me actually of um whose family am I thinking of? I'm thinking of Full Metal Alchemist right now. Um Wow, I can't think of his name. The bald guy. The cream on the crop. Mm -mm. <laughs> Fucking eyebrows pass over the damn bars. <laughs> damn, where the hell is that at? That shit looked like a the apocalypse zombie outbreak happened here. Oh, the net of it. Damn! <laughs> she says she never wanted to come here again. Uh oh, wait, somebody's here? Oh, shit. Well, I just saw a skull in the background. I'm like, okay. One of those bugs. <laughs> the odds are good. Uh oh, wait, is that arrow? Hmm. 
Hmm. What the hell? We got suicide bombers? Oh, shit. Man, I got the button the Yamcha pose. Good lord, good lord. <laughs> oh shit. Burns to his right arm, left arm first. Damn, okay, well, at least he's alive. Uh oh, it's time for action. Who the hell is this? <laughs> hmm. The second. These fools. <laughs> it is ugly. I like a ah, I told you it wasn't me. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Oh, the joint mission. Okay. Mm. Wow. Damn, oh my god. I like his hairstyle.
Okay, what are you, the, the mayor, the powerful girl? Wow. Oh, God! You're too strong. Wow. I'm not listening. <laughs> oh my god. Got this girl back in the army. I can't believe this. <laughs> Isn't she adorable? <laughs> Celestial me. Oh shit. Oh, wow. That privilege. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Welcome to the stereotype where we actually do type. Oh shit. A going away present. Damn, okay, you guys make this man. <laughs> Maki chan? Damn, well, that's messed up.
Huh? What the hell? Wow. <laughs> this fucking thing, bro. Hmm. Multiple companies at once. What the hell? Where's the speaker at? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, uh. Begins. All right, let's see here. What's, what's next? Uh oh, okay. Weapons of destruction. Okay, was he about to go in or something? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, this episode, man, was I mean, relatively simple episode for one. Uh, so it should be a short review. But it it honestly started off very lighthearted and went sad real quick. Like like um. So basically, you know, um, we got to meet we got to meet Maki's family, the Ozes, and uh, her whole family is a. Uh, <laughs> Her whole family is uh, like fucking and like not crazy, but just like well, I, I, I honestly say crazy, but like you know, like strong family, whatever. And like I was saying, and I probably remember the name. Kind of reminded me of like Full Metal Alchemist with the Armstrongs, like and them like, <laughs> like <laughs> uh, like with them. So that's very interesting. But um, yeah, her mom can get it for sure. Like I was like, oh. Yeah, cause at first like, she was looking like, you know, like the calm one of the group, but then she just switched out. <laughs> um, we do find out though, like, cause her, her father is like the, the general, the head guy of the, the military, um, the, the, the whole military, whatever. And he basically, I suppose, like, well, from what they say, and you know, obviously, he's very protective of Maki, so when, like, his son, uh, they had went down into the, the nether and they were like looking for evidence and stuff and they did find some, but uh, there was a white clad down there that suicide bombed himself and he got injured. So I guess that was kind of the catalyst for why um, uh, Maki's father did what he did towards the end of the episode where basically he sent, uh, um, I forgot what it's called, but he basically sent a letter to the eight and basically was saying that Maki is to return to the military because that's where she was before. Um, and you know, they but they had the chance to like uh, decline it basically. So they, you know, they brought Maki in, told her, and uh, it was actually uh, Hanaway that was like, go back, go back to the military. And basically, because like he's like, you know, this shit's getting real serious or whatever, and your father, he just, you know, he's very protective of you or whatever, so he doesn't want you to get hurt. So hey, go back to the military. Um, and he basically put her on a desk job, you know? And it's crazy because, you know, Maki has been doing a lot. Like, she's very strong. I don't think there has been a moment where, um, you know, she's like on her last breath is what I'm trying to say so far, at least. Like, um, when they went to the nether before, I think she did very well. I forgot who she fought, but she beat them, like, kind of like with ease. Um, even when she was fighting them puppet girl, and uh, whatchamacallit, like, it wasn't like they were like on their dying breath or whatever, like she kind of was like, you know, hey, I'm here. Like, so I don't understand. Like, I mean, I understand, cause you know, it's like, you know, her father, right? It's her daughter, so you're like protective of her. But like she, I feel like she can handle herself, you know, she's very muscular, cold, bro, you know? <laughs> um, 
But yeah, basically got her at the desk job now and she feels now like a, a caged bird. Like very uh, you know, understandably, right? So um, toward the end, you know, he's all, um, he gets the second, they're basically like the second and the eight are about to go on a joint mission now to go to the netter and I guess like find more of this evidence down there of the white clad, right? I guess. So, so that's what they're about to do now. We did meet a few other um, members of the second in this episode, but I can't remember his name. Uh, one, the one guy with the damn hair that was like going up, he looked clean as hell. Um, and I, what was that? That was uh, Juggernaut, right? We, we, we see him again or whatever. But yeah, yeah, so that was pretty much this episode. Like I said, a very simple episode, but it was a good episode because we got like really more into Maki, her family, her mindset, and all of that. So, uh, sucks now, man. She's not on the eighth anymore, but hopefully she does go back. Um, so in the next episode, though, it looks like they, you know, they get to the netter and old boy with the damn the hair that I said look clean. That boy, that he ready to go with a damn AK or whatever he got. I'm like, okay. Uh, so. I guess we'll see what's about to pop off, and also too, yeah, that girl. You, uh, it looks like they're about to fight that girl that could like combine body parts together. So, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But that's all, guys. Remember, for more Fire Force live reaction slash reviews, make sure I hit the subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel. Hit the bell to get notified when I drop my videos. Also, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and my Facebook game page. All three of them in the description box below. If you like the video, guys, like the video, comment. Let me know what your favorite part of the episode was. As always, guys, it's been your boy X. And I'm out. Deuces.